Welcome to the Bermondsey Beer Mile. We are here this week as we explore what is underneath the arches. So let's start the show! So why are you taking me through this dark passage, Paul? I don't think it's dark. I think it's just not well lit. So what are we doing today? This is the Bermondsey Beer Mile. Yeah, so we have gotten out at the station at Bermondsey on the Jubilee Line, and it basically runs between Bermondsey and London Bridge, and there are countless um, breweries that are located underneath these archway underneath the arches well we better go and see what's on the other side yeah. so this looks very industrial down here so it's like underneath those arches over that way yeah it looks like coffee to me rather than beer are you sure it's the right type of brewing we're going to I think there's one over this way. Okay, let's go take a look. Well, as you said, we got out at Bermondsey Station, but we are very close to London Bridge and you can see the shard in the background. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the direction that we need to go? Well, yeah, I think we need to follow this, um, this railway, this old railway line. So it's taking the mile from Bermondsey towards London Bridge, no, is that right? I think it starts at London Bridge and then it runs further um, eastwards. Oh, I see. But I think I noticed the majority of the concentration of these breweries located between Bermondsey and London Bridge. Ah, right. Well, you seem to have spotted one. At least you think it is a brewery called Colonel. The Colonel. I did my research. So I believe we are going to be trying the Colonel Arch 7 out and seeing how this one goes. So Paul, what did you think of the Colonel? I think it was quite cozy and it was very refreshing. I had the I had the India Pale Ale and it does taste like other India Pale Ale and so it was something that I am used to having, so that's a good thing and I really enjoyed it and it was quite refreshing and I didn't have too much of it. What are the characteristics of an India Pale Ale? I think that there's some hoppiness to it. And it, like it, like it has like a bit of a bite as aftertaste. Now I didn't try it, maybe it's just as well because I don't think I'm really into that. But I had the dry stout, it was called. How dry was that stout like? Ella was the actual full name. Oh. Well, I asked the lady 
exactly what it was like and she said that it was made in a similar process to Guinness but it wasn't like Guinness and yes it wasn't like Guinness oh okay actually I think it was more like the Fuller's Black Cab oh really which we have had once at the Fuller's Brewery and once I got on a bottle one time as well it's got a bit of fizz to it whereas Guinness has no fizz to it whatsoever now one of the things that you'll notice here is that of course we are underneath the arches but above the arches is the railway line yeah and I think these trains run into Charing Cross and possibly Cannon Street or Blackfriars maybe something I like that. think it's a southern one. oh southern. so it could even be Victoria yeah. I suppose yeah so that is the end of the first of our three visits to the Bermondsey Beer Mile this week. So if you have liked anything that you've seen so far, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And plus the coffee. Yes, if you'd like to buy us a brew, not a beer this time, <laughs> but a coffee, then there is a link in the description. We'll and we will time. see you next time. Bye. Bye. So much choice here, Paul. There We've got a, Enid right. Street Tavern and Craft Beer Junction. And then there's also one right next to it. I think that that one's open later. Bianco Beer Company. Yeah. So take your pick. I think Enid and then Craft Beer. Well, you want to do both of these? We're doing all of them.